Hello and welcome back to Nomragad's journey. After uh, last episode's technical difficulties, hopefully uh, we are good to go now. Uh, we are here in Stone Hive. We are level 44 at the moment. We leveled up last time. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and knock out these uh, plant killing quests real quick. Uh, it's pretty much just mur murder everything in this area. So just going to go ahead and do that. Uh, Kind of knock that quest line out because we have to go back to Blightfire Moors for uh, kind of the next part. So I figured this would be less effort than going all the way back there right now. Go ahead and just tag all this stuff up. They are really low, lower level. Uh, 37. This one's rare. <laughs> Didn't even realize that. Yeah, he's got a he's got a name on him, but he drops the petals and the sap that we need for. Uh, for this uh for this quest oh seeds too i think uh i don't know let's see if we can track all these uh this one this one that's the bixie heads got one curious seeds there we go can we make this a little bit bigger so we can see all the yeah there we go all right we get a Griddle of Foreboding Heart. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, oh, it's got a nice tribute value, so I'd, that'll probably sell pretty nice. I don't know what that sells for. Shambling Sap. And uh, one thing I've noticed is uh, Defiant Armor <laughs> is a good way to make money. Uh, I have been, I like, I get a lot of it on my other characters and stuff, and I've been selling it. Or, you know, like, uh, not even, like, a, a high price. Like, I'm, I, like, whatever, like, like, crude, I sell for 10 platinum, right? Just because anybody who wants crude is probably a newbie, right? And then I go up, you know, like, a little bit up there. And then I get to, like, the stuff that I get from the daily quests. And I'm selling that for, like, a thousand a pop. And it is, uh, selling extremely fast. <laughs> I'm, like quite shocked I, I must be under underselling it but it's like such common stuff that it must tribute for a lot or something like that but it sells like almost instantly overnight <laughs> and I, I have I'm running uh, three different traders at the moment like completely full of stuff and I pretty much have to unload them like of uh, like load them up with gear every day and uh Hopefully I'm going to be able to make make some of the money I've spent back uh so far cuz I've been I've I've spent quite a bit of bit of coin on uh buying uh tokens and stuff not tokens but uh tr remnants of tranquility for my uh my main group and uh, I was hoping to make some of that back. I don't think these shrooms are actually dropping anything useful. Unless I have auto loot on again. Oh, he's nuking. Uh, it's this guy who drops sound. I guess I do have auto loot on, or that's just a thing I already had set to loot. I guess so. Not a huge deal, honestly. Uh, we just want to get as much of this cleared as we can. Uh, do the, is there a quest for the mushrooms? No, these are from the cactus stuff up here. Let's go around. I mean, we're not. <laughs> we obviously out leveled all this by uh, doing all. Doing the hero's journey, we're gonna probably out level most of the adventure, I think, until we get to like the raid. In uh, the first raid is gonna be in Blackfeather Roost, I believe, and that one I'm gonna have to get like my other characters to help with so we can get past it. Otherwise, I don't think it's it's doable. There's a, there's a huge complaint forum uh, thing on the forums about how uh, 
how like why why do you why do you go from solo quest and then end up in a raid at a level 55 it's not even like it's like it's a level 55 raid it's just weird and uh i from what i read my uh, shadow knight should be able to solo it at this point so hopefully that is the case uh God, i'm doing really well on those that stuff that could stay on the corpse let's get over here on the other side some more of these uh shambling bush things there's a spider and we need to figure out where the slave hold is that that'll be useful all right let's start tagging these ones over here all right i think we might have enough seeds all right let's check and make sure we where we're at on this Let's get a drain spirit, so sap. Where is the sap at? Shambling sap. Need some simbo kiss sap. Is it over here in the trade skill stuff? No. There it is. We have six of this. And we need ten. Okay. Leave that one on corpse. All right, we need one more of those. We need bio, bio lithium petals. There we go. We got seven of those at the moment. We need a few more, and we need ten contius seeds. Contus seeds. We have those. So that quest is done. All right, we just need a little bit more. We're doing really well. I, I, when I first got those quests, I thought they were all in the uh, Playfire Moors because that's where you get them all. And I was like losing my mind on where to get them until I looked it up. There's a filmy flower. He drops one of the things we need. Let's get him over there. But uh, I've. I was so I, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm thinking about making another uh, another group of uh, multi boxing characters, and I was I was gonna go through the whole uh, kiss assist thing and try it all out, and then I realized that that is just gonna be bad news going down that whole path. But uh, I'm gonna do a melee multi box group and try it out. I'm I've become. A little bit better. I don't know. It, I've been doing the end of the end of the hills uh, heroic quests uh, with my other group, trying to get a little experience and level up that cleric that I added to the group. And I've gotten better at being able to get the bard into melee fairly consistently. And I figured out how to get it done with auto follow and stuff. So like it, it should work as long as I can macro uh, each of the uh, the keybinds to do the the sufficient attacks. So I'm gonna build a. Uh, I already have the characters made. It's gonna be a Shadow Knight, Shaman Bard, uh, Beast Lord, Berserker, and Berserker. Uh, from what I understand, this is like the optimal. <laughs> The optimal multi box group that you can do. And I'm going to try it just using IS Boxer. Uh, I'm going to power level them up though, and then once I can group them with my real Shadow Knight and my real uh, Shaman Bard, I'll kind of like bring them in and try them out. Oh, didn't even notice the pet was getting destroyed by that thing. That's crazy talking more than uh killing let's go ahead and resummon him oh we're gonna have to destroy these pixie evolution pages we already finished that quest uh, a while ago uh destroy oh wow we're almost 45 
All right, let's get this guy back up. All right, how are we looking here? We have 15 of those, 14 of those, and 10 of those. Buzz on Bixies, locate the Bixie, Bixie Prankster in the lower level, Curious Seeds. Okay, well, yeah, we completed that one. We need Bixie Heads. Let's go up there and see if we can... I know the Bixie Heads spawn on, like, the upper level, so let's try that. Uh, it's invisibility in there. Let's buff our pet real quick. We'll invis in there and then see if we can find what we're looking for. Since we got everything else way quicker than I thought we would. Uh, let's see here. Invisibility. There's a few other things we need to do in here while we're there. And then we'll have to go back. It's a lot of back and forth. I think I mentioned last episode between the two zones, which is kind of kind of unfortunate, right? All right, so we're in here. I still haven't figured out how to go down, but let's go up. There's like a queen up here I think you have to kill for like the last quest. So that's, uh, hopefully that's not her. Some elite guards, I think they're the ones who draw up the... Yeah, those are the ones that drop uh, the heads we need. So we're going to have to kill them. Let's just look around here while we have, uh, oh wow, it's only one way in. Okay, let's go ahead and do these guys, uh, call them. And I forgot to set my group roles. There we go. That could have been why she was not uh, performing as best as she could. All right, that's working really well. Let's grab this one over here. Oh, we got another one. Let's tag her. And... A dark soul her. All right, we want the Bixie heads. What is this? This is a quest item. I don't know what the quests those are for, uh, so I'll just loot them for now. Typically, if I don't, if I haven't figured out what the quest item is, it's usually for um, the breath quests, I think, because there's a whole whole thing around that. Uh, oh, those are not lore, so that's unfortunate. I have a few of those in my bag. All right, three more up here. All right, let's see if we can get this one. She's like, when you mark her main tank, she actually goes out of her way, I think, to pull things off of you. Which is really nice, considering. There we go. Bixie Wing, we'll take those. We're going to leave these other things. I don't know what they are. I can't imagine we need more than one of those. A gold coin. A hive insignia. All right, let's take one of those and leave this other stuff. Let's go up this way, maybe. Oh, we got an elevator going up. This is... Interesting. Not, <laughs> not sure where the slave area is. I don't know if they would keep the slaves up here or not. Alchemist. Oh, there's a cage dragon. And then why did it send me down? I was. I should have got off of it. There's not a guy down here, is there? No. The cage draken sounds like a slave area, so that should work out. All right, let's go back up. And we'll get off this as soon as we can. Oh, wow, that dot was doing uh, 240 a, a tick. That's pretty good. 
Come on. Wow, I can barely get off. Oh, I got a name. There's something right here. She is not a rare, so she is a quest mob of some sort. Ah, uh, Bixie Alchemy Jump notes. Okay, we got Poison Brewer. These ones all drop the heads we need anyway, so we're gonna have to farm uh, farm them up. Oh, these are blue too, so that means they're a little bit higher level. Iron, let's get off the mount. As much as I love the mount, it is uh, it is a bit uh. Bit annoying, I think, at times. Um, no idea what that's for. Let's go ahead and take that. Leave those. Imposter clue. All right, let's take that. Leave those. I have a feeling we're gonna have to reload a lot of this stuff when we get to the next stage of the quest. What's our uh, mana regen at right now? Because it is insane. 52. That's not bad, actually. Alright, that can all stay. Snare her. Uh, I loot that. That. Let's leave that. All right, let's go up here. Oh wow, this is a whole, whole thing up here. Uh, let's see here. Wow, this would be a really crazy place to like try to moldy box with all these, uh, all these mobs, and she's like attacking it through the floor. That's hilarious. All right, so I'm. I want to go through that door over there. I think. I'm looking at this right. Let's keep going this way. So that's a researcher. Let's go up. Ah, well. I'll make mistakes. And y'all, uh, we don't have to kill all that stuff. Oh, Royal Bodyguard. Okay, I don't think we're in the right spot now. I get a huge train, I bet. The pet's somewhere. I have no idea where. He's about to die. Yeah, he's about to die. I can't heal him, I don't think. Nope, he died. Alright, so... Can you... Oh god, look at that train. There we go. We will let our in, uh, mercenary who's just standing there... Handle this. Oh, and they're just gonna cast on us anyway. There we go. I see that the aggro is all zero over here now, so I think we're fine. Greed that. Leave that stuff. I think she'll just stand there forever. I don't know how that works. It's really kind of, uh, kind of annoying. <laughs> if they're blue, if there's four or more, she will uh, just go into this weird mode where she won't do anything. Right, let's kill this one. Great. 
that. She's at 50%, so I might be able to just pull these off her and kill them all one by one. Until she's able to start fighting, I guess. Because these don't really do that much damage. And there we go. That one's down. Get this one. Oh, there she goes. She's back in action. Back in action. Get this one. Or we're going to dot them all up. Dot them all up. Take the lumber plank. We already have that, right? Get our pet. Oh. Uh, let's get Dark Soul on that one. And we'll go ahead and life tap this one since that one's about to wear off. I mean, Necromancer is like one of the top tier classes that I like to play. Uh, I think if I ever started on a uh, progression server, I'd make a uh, a gnome necromancer before I made anything else and just play <laughs> play that. Or if it was a multi-boxing one, I'd probably do six of them and just destroy the game. I think that would be more, more exciting than... Uh, six mages or an actual group all right we lost uh lost our shielding somewhere along the way gotta rebuff that pet oh and we hit 45. that is very nice all right let's go ahead and snare this thing because I have a feeling it's gonna run off. And we're in the wrong we went the wrong direction anyway. We <laughs> we can go back down as soon as we get this killed. Yeah, we didn't even like lose enough mana to even care about it really. Gather shadows. Though we are constantly uh call we have call bones on even though the illusion's gone. I thought I, I thought I, oh, oh shit, there's another one. Is she a rare? Oh, she is a rare. Alright, I'm gonna triple dot her. And we did get a, the Bixie thing that I was like, that's something we don't need to use. We're gonna go ahead and pop that on real quick. Since normal snare does not work on them, we'll put it like right here. She resisted. <laughs> God, it's it's like a two three minute cooldown. Jeez, greater shroud of greater transmutation. Uh, transmutation. Uh, not an upgrade. Interesting that that would even something that weak would drop here. But I, I may be defiant is like a totally different era from uh, this stuff over here. And our bags are like completely full of pixie scent glands. So let's start destroying these things. That is kind of funny. All right, so, oh, there's a dude here. What is he? He's blue. He's got a mercenary. 
Oh, let's go this way. Hopefully we're invisible still. Yep. Maybe over this way. There's an elevator down. This is, I think, where we came up at. So let's go over here. There's a servant. It's on the other side of that wall. Alright, let's go this way, maybe. There we go. Refiner. Okay, we are in, like, some kind of refinery. Alright, what do it? Task complete. Oh, this is the slave area. Okay, perfect. Look for a clue. Alright, let's kill this one. Let's get over here because... And let's life tap her. I don't have... Uh... I don't have a leech spell on me. And I can't snare them, so... There we go, we got the imposter clue, maybe? That was it. And determine who the imposter is and kill them. Cage Draken just attacked us. So I'm guessing that's what it was. So... That takes care of the jokes on you quest. And then, uh, all right, we got a choice between 10 devious dragon potions or a devious dragon disguise spell. Uh, we're going to go with the potions since we're not an enchanter. So that's done. It still didn't, uh, complete everything. Let's go ahead and get out of here. So I'm going to run back to Blightfire Moors real quick. Hopefully we don't have to fight anything along the way. And uh, turn some of this stuff in just to free up some quest log and get the next stage. Uh, we still need to find out where the lower level is. Uh, I just don't know where that is. So that's going to be a, a trick. Can we jump off here? Not die. Oh god. That we're going to die. You know when you fall from a height in a game and you get like that sensation that you're actually falling? I don't know. I, I do sometimes. And uh, yeah. Felt, oh, somehow that guy. Yeah, there we go. Kill this stuff, I guess. And we'll get this botanist back here. Dot them all. That's my, that's my plan. They're all going to die really quick. And I'm going to heal you. I'm not heal you, but uh, life tab myself. For myself, what is this? Cultivated pollen. Alright, so we need to get those stupid things out of our uh, auto loot. they called intact intact there we go uh don't there we go we'll make the decision when the time comes for those those are no longer necessary and we lost spirit of the wolf at the same time oh is this the lower levels Oh gosh. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go down here. Just because like I, I couldn't find this in all my other attempts. So we're gonna go down here and just uh see what we can there we go, task complete. Uh talk to the Bixie prankster. There it is. Um now we're in viz. Pranking? 
Oh, jeez. Alright. Homicidal halfling. Jeez. Alright, we'll kill all your friend your friends. And since these are light blue, she shouldn't run. But we're gonna hopefully have enough dots on all this stuff or or it's an issue. Yeah, we can leave that. Stacks will loot it since the <laughs> and since that okay. Alright, now we need to speak to her again. Take the halfling parts. Oh god, now we gotta fight her. Alright, so she doesn't have a lot of hit points, so we'll do that real quick. And boom. I don't think we need that. That is a rogue item. Alright, so we're invisible. Let's just do a little Kilu around here real quick. Thrallmaster. Deranged Thrall. Okay, so this looks like a whole different area that we probably don't need to go into right now. So let's go to get back to Blightfire Moors and turn in all this stuff and see where where we actually <laughs> need to uh, go next. But yeah, I'm glad we found this little area real quick. So we need to go over, I think this is the door out. And then there's another one. It's over here. Hopefully. It's going to take us to the back door. No, it's the front door. Okay. And we can just walk out the front door. I'll mount up once we get past this uh, threshold. For some reason, the stuff out here is dubious, and the stuff inside was not. Now it's a quick little run back to Blightfire Moors. Okay, this rabbit makes things like so fast. It's like we're running around with bard speed. Uh, so, okay. Uh, first is first. We need to talk to Assistant Avalon. Right here. Got some experience for that. And completed the buzz, uh, the buzz quest. And we got uh, consigned. <laughs> Uh, ornate gloves, which uh, I guess we could have sold the other ones instead of wearing them. Okay, so we need to go over here to the cook. I think she's going to have a few turn-ins here. No, this is the botanist. So the botanist wanted 10 seeds. Give him those 10 seeds. There we go, and we get uh, 10 mana potions. He also wanted uh, 10 petals, so we'll give him 10 of those. And we get, uh, what is this, healing potions, 10 of those. And our mercenary is out there just killing random stuff that attacked me. And uh, we'll just leave that defiant thing on there, I don't, I'm not going to go try and find that. Uh, so he also wanted 10 of these. And we got uh, a, a food that is uh, five. Oh, we got scryer earrings too. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's take those. And then we'll take the food. All right, so let's go ahead and put the earrings on. Total upgrades there. All right, and 10 scrumptious pixie antennae. We did not 
We did. We did. We got plenty of them. So we need 10 of those. One of those. I think it was the cook, right? Yep, the cook. So let's do 10 of these and give those to the cook. Which gives us another earring uh, that we don't need. We'll just do something with it. I don't know what to do with the items that I can't sell. And then the muddied... The muddy note, this one goes to Scout Varshnir Veshnar. And Be Prepared for War is the new one. And we still need these heads, so let's go ahead and mark that one. So we need to explore the botanical research area of the Stone Hive. And a few more things. So we gotta find this guy and that one. And what is this one? Speak with Pioneer. Oh, that is in Grokru uh, Mesh. Grukar Mesh Mesa. So that's gonna be a long time away. But uh, yeah, wow. We got a lot done. Uh, not a lot of experience from all that, just because I think we uh, we are kind of out level leveled. It. These are like. 20 and 30 plus quests and we're already 45 so that is uh that is going to be the unfortunate thing about some of this but uh wow we, yeah, we knocked out all those collection quests uh we just need to get eight more ripe heads oh no never mind we have 22 of them who wanted those we could turn that one in now i was about to end the episode and then realize we have more i I thought they were, I didn't see that many drop. All right, we'll go ahead and give those. Give that. And we get a bunch of stuff. Uh, we got a, here, let's, we're gonna have to destroy uh, some of these things that it looted. All right, we got new rings and we got a new ranged item. That's nice. So where's the ornate rings that we just got? Here's one. Go ahead and swap that one out. And swap that one out. And I think these have, yeah, mana regen and HP regen. Uh, extended range 3 and mana preservation 3. So we are fairly set. And heroic stats on these two. Jeez, what the hell? That's pretty crazy. We're already getting heroic stats on stuff. I guess I never noticed that before. When I was leveling my other characters until I got to... Uh, the TBM stuff where you had to like pick your heroic stat for your armor and stuff like that. So it's pretty sweet. And now we are, uh, we have a positive 14 mana regen and 64 passive without any buffs just because the mount buff. All right. So that is all the, that is all the quests. We have everything done. We're ready for be prepared for war, which, uh, is second to last in the chain for welcome to storm stone hive uh this one we got to go back to that alchemy area loot the alchemy notes that we already looted uh so i'm gonna have to clean up my bags in between episodes and then uh we got to go kill some named guy and then after that we'll need to do Okay, we need to do this who's who's that we have. So we got to go do that. Go kill that guy. And then that ends up with uh, a level 50 quest that we, we'll have to get to level 54 to kill the queen. So we might have to do some daily tasks to get to from 45 to 50 in three quests. So we do have a little catching up to do, I guess. To get to the point where we can get that quest. So. Oh, and the... Uh, the N Nizi guy is up there by the queen, so <laughs> we know where he's at now. So great. So uh, I guess that is that for this episode. I'm going to go clean this mess and uh, figure out where to go from there. So uh, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.